So let's go ahead and pause it there. Has anybody heard of direct access or played with that in Windows 7 at all? And uh, for those of you who have uh, remote users, this is going to be a really cool feature. So let's just call this uh, taking care of business anywhere. You know, helping your mobile users out, your branch offices out. Now, how many of you manage mobile users or have branch offices that you have to manage? It's probably about half, at least half of us. Yeah. Now, and that's, that's pretty common, and it's becoming more and more common. Workforce trends kind of tell us that, uh, you know, all our, we're getting more and more mobile users. They have multiple devices that they use when they're out on the road, and they want to have access to everything on the whole network when they're out there, don't they? They want, why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Yeah, yeah exactly. And very good point. Branch offices. It's slow access between the home office and the branch, and that, that really becomes an issue unless you spend just a crap load of money, which no business really wants to do. And of course, you have information all over the place, different sites, different servers, and that certainly can be an issue as well. So of course, the big issue, it's difficult for users to have the same access whether they're on the home network or they're away from the office. And for you, the IT guy, how tough is it to make sure that these mobile users are getting their, their updates, they're getting their patches, that you're able to manage these systems. When something breaks, you're able to remote in and fix it. These, th these are things that are incredibly tough uh, for those mobile users. So Windows 7 solution to this is direct access. Direct access basically enables your users that are remote or mobile to have the same experience inside and outside the office, the exact same experience. They're able to have access to all the resources, and uh, basically it makes it easier for you to update, service, patch, uh, all those uh, systems out there. Uh, basically, you're able to uh, make sure those user, users authenticate to the network. Uh, encryption, that's uh, the good security part. Access control, uh, integration with uh, network access protection, you know, another good feature there. Split tunnel routing, we'll go into that a little bit more. Looking at kind of the topology of how direct access works. What we're looking at is your Windows 7 client is sitting out there. It's a mobile, just a laptop sitting in a hotel room somewhere. It goes through the internet and it connects to your direct access server, which is going to act as your gateway to your corporate network. It sets up a, a two tunnel. Uh, process which really helps uh, efficiency as far as that goes and now your user has access to all the application servers the file servers everything that's been tough to provide access without experiencing very much uh, I'd say bandwidth difference between being on the home network now you as the uh, IT guy you're able to make sure and, and manage through, uh, through active directory group policy, network access protection, be able to get the updates, the patches out there, because whenever that laptop's on and it's connected to the internet, it's automatically connected to your network, just like it was sitting on the local network. So, very cool feature there. Now, for your older devices, as far as the direct access server is concerned, is that just a box running the server 2008 or Exactly, it's required, it has to be that direct access server has to be Windows Server 2008 R2. And uh, yes, that's, it, it, it may be a new box that you have to purchase. Which version? <coughs> R2. Right. Yeah, it can be standard. Okay. Yeah, you can do standard mm -hmm. device. And uh, you have the, all your clients, they have to be Windows 7 Pro or higher uh, that, uh, that access this. Oh, catch. Yeah, there's always catch, yeah. Where I want to say, you got to upgrade them all to Windows 7, of course. And uh, of course, on the server side, that uh, direct access server does have to be Server 2008 R2. Your application servers, uh, thankfully, you don't have to upgrade everything on the server side of 2008 R2. Those application servers can be uh, Windows Server 2008, just so they have that internet protocol version 6 uh, support on there. Uh, now, your domain control, you don't necessarily need to upgrade that. It just has to be uh, server 2008 or higher, uh, as well as your uh, <coughs> server. Now, uh, there are some things. If you want to access to, say, the server 2003 or maybe something older that's running uh, uh, IP version 4, 
then that's doable. Uh, you just might have to do some tweaking and things of that nature. So pretty much, in a nutshell, here's the, the simple way to look at it. Okay. So once you have this all set up for your mobile users, they're, they're not going to have to do anything. Uh, basically, the client, uh, the user turns on their, their system. It's out there on the road somewhere. It detects a network connection. Now, if the client's sitting on your local network, okay, cool. Direct access is just going to stop, and, and it's going to use the, the the clients can use the resources of your, your local internet network. If, uh, if it's not on the internet, uh, it should be intranet. It detects that, and it uses uh, any number of methods through the internet to make sure you get access uh, to that direct access server uh, there to have it to be a gateway to your network. So basically, the user doesn't do anything. The software detects it. And uh, you know, it makes that connection to the network, whether it's on the network or off the network. Now, how does it determine whether it's on the internet or not? Uh, do you have to have a domain in order for it to recognize the GPS URL? You do have to have a domain. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be talking to your domain controller and the direct access server. And it, it'll just basically see if you're on or off the network. I don't have to, Real deep down specifics on that, but we can get them for you if you like that. So, advantages on kind of the technical advantages uh, built on proven standards, it's secure, it's efficient because it's built on some really proven standard technologies. Uh, obviously, the ability to uh, automatically establish bi directional <coughs> connections between that client out there and your entire corporate network is a very good thing. Now, more of the tangible stuff, the stuff you'd uh, go tell the, the big boss about, more productivity. When a user is sitting out there on their mobile, I know that when I travel, we don't have direct access set up yet. When I travel, it's quite a pain in the butt because I know, oh, crap, I can't, this is on that server, so I can't quite get to it. You know, it's a big pain in the butt, and I can't be as productive. There's certain things I have to wait until I get back in the office to do. So whenever they have access to everything, it's going to make them more productive. Additionally, that user doesn't have to do anything to make this work. Once you guys set it up, they're just basically connected to all your network resources all the time. More secure, everything's encrypted. That's awesome. And really what's cool for you guys, you're able to take care of those systems, make sure they're secure, whether they're out there on the road or sitting on your uh, local network. And uh, those are really good things for us. You have to manage them, patch them. I like this one. So in summary, this bunch of marketing probably do that. Direct access provides seamless access into corporate resources. It can utilize network access protection for compliance enforcement, whether you're, uh, you know, faced with HIPAA or Sarbanes-Oxley or, or PCI compliance issues. Additionally, uh, it's, you know, just kind of highlights how Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2 uh, can work together and, and mesh together. Um, if you're trying to access non-Windows uh, resources on the Internet. Uh, how does that work? Should it be seamless as well? Or Should be seamless. So far, it looks like we can only talk to Windows servers, but I imagine that. Yeah, you can oh, yeah. work with non Windows servers, provided they're uh, IP version 6 or better, or if you put in the extra effort, IP version 4 makes it better. So definitely doable, and there's a lot of people running uh, you know, Linux servers and, and things of that nature. So, yeah, that's a very important thing. Now, I forgot to start throwing these out. You asked the question, didn't you? That might be a million dollars for you. Oh, <laughs> Hold on, knock somebody in the head. Yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about how I played uh, sports in high school? <laughs> it's that whole two-way thing, you know? Yeah. A little tiny school. <coughs> yeah, you should have grabbed that. It might have been a million. <laughs> Did I forget anybody as far as questions go? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can talk about that.